I am so honored to be emceeing, and this is the third annual Walk a Mile in her ribbon skirt. Today, it is all about amplifying indigenous voices, but also showing that we are proud of our culture, we are proud of who we are, and we are not going anywhere. We acknowledge all the many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit whose footsteps have marked these lands for centuries. This makes it extremely difficult for us to have our women's shelters operating. So I wanted to mention that today, if anybody here is willing to put donations towards the Alberta First Nations Women's Shelters on Reserve fundraiser, we would be very glad to take any of your donations for this event. Change Alberta User Voice, Chief Leo Kataman. I've seen Mike Gokum, who is a First Lady, Councilwoman, uh, Councillor's wife, and I've seen all of my family be in leadership. So for me, watching women, matriarchal women and patriarchal men do great things was normal for me. So when I needed to use my voice, I used it. That is a huge gap, and it's events like this, uh, the work that these organizers are doing to empower Indigenous women, two-spirited people, to see their place in the community, to feel empowered, uh, to lead, and help us all grow. And whereas the City of Edmonton is committed to our journey of reconciliation by becoming better listeners, connectors, advocates, and partners, so that Indigenous women and girls, women, girls, and two-spirit people feel supported, heard, and have equal opportunities to succeed. Therefore, I uh, and Stevenson, on behalf of Mayor Amarjeet Sohi, do hereby proclaim October 22nd, 2022, Walk a Mile in a Ribbon Skirt Day in Edmonton, Alberta, Alberta uh, Edmonton, Alberta's capital city. One thing, the message that we really want to get across is that we're really trying to share and, and showcase our rich diverse indigenous culture and for me I have right now I think four ribbon skirts and they all mean something different so And um, I want nothing but the best for her. I want her to enjoy, you know, Mother Earth, enjoy our, you know, livelihoods, just enjoy who we are and to be proud of our culture. So, you know, that's a significant of our role as women, and uh, I take pride in that. I take pride in it, and every day, I pray, I pray to our Creator, I ask the Creator to guide me so I walk in a good way. I just, I want to express that I genuinely do to, to um, my heart goes out to everybody because um, it's so beautiful to see everybody here in their skirts and um, this is a really beautiful purpose. So I'm just, you know, her apprentice, I help her. But uh, every now and then, yes, I'll make my own. 
What do you know that's made a living out of this, the art of living in the street? Well, actually, my mom. She's uh, one of the best seamstresses I know. Everything that I've learned, she taught me. Well, I, I would say most of all, the identity as a woman. Uh, the woman was given from the Almighty Creator, you know, given the the gift to give life on Mother Earth. If it wasn't for the woman, we wouldn't be here, right? And we have an acronym. Our mandate is to, with our acronym, is serve. So what we advocate is safety for the woman in our nation, equality and equity for the woman in our nation, recognition of the woman in our nation, to be a voice for the woman in our nation, and to promote education. I think when we actually did the walk and when I saw the little girls walking beside me, holding hands like in solidarity and wearing their ribbon skirts, I thought this is so empowering and that's the next generation. So who knows what the next generation is going to do and what they're going to accomplish and it just shows like our pride is our strength. Man, <laughs> I'm just really thankful for, you know, moments like this, opportunities like this because I get to be with my people, you know. It's not like a job to me. This is just like me getting to like reconnect with everyone again. And you know, I'm so proud to be able to see all the beautiful ribbon skirts and all the women, the men, everyone that came to support. I feel like this is just such an empowering thing and I'm very thankful that it's gonna be happening every year now. Yeah, for me wearing a ribbon skirt today is, um, I wanna show my respect for indigenous people and history and culture.